What's up guys? This is Sam from Garage Gym Reviews. And today we have a special video for you. See, Coop dipped and went to Florida for a week or so. And him and I have had this ongoing feud for a couple of months now, ever since we decided to get a new gym, about how we were gonna move the Force USA G20 rack. Now the G20 rack is big, okay? It has every accessory. It's an all-in-one unit. It's got double weight stacks, each weighing 300 pounds. Coop's idea, was let's take it apart, let's pack it up and move it. Now that's a logical idea, I get that. It did take 40 hours to build this thing and put it together. 40 hours, I don't wanna go through that again. I came up with a plan, he has talked trash on it multiple times, but I think it's a good one. I called in a few friends, five or six guys here. So we got two guys here and myself, so that's like what, two and a half men? I don't know how we're gonna get it out. Sam with his like genius ideas. These, Sam ordered these stupid things. These are $250 casters. And this is the reason, come in here. Sam's plan is that he doesn't want to break this down. So he wants to attach these casters to the back of this right here, four of them, and then have it towed out by a tow truck because he doesn't want to unbolt the cross members. I also helped Sam put this together. Yeah. It, that really sucked, too. Neither Sam nor <laughs> myself are big guys, okay? We freaking moved that sucker ourselves like Cooper's on vacation. <laughs> I don't even work for Cooper, okay? I'm not even on the payroll. You're just a good friend. Like a friend that just gets called and shows up and does stupid stuff. All you gotta do is you just gotta unbolt these cross members and then you could have one panel, the other panel, get a dolly and take it out. Hey, Sam, how's it going? We're actually talking about your two hundred fifty dollars stupid casters. Those are made for small airplanes and can definitely support the G twenty. We have this bet, Sam. Do you actually think th this is going to work? I, do. I want it on camera. I do actually. Believe What's the bet? Though? The bet is a full steak dinner at whatever restaurant he wants. If it doesn't. I just, just lord over him the rest of his life. <laughs> <laughs> what else are we going to use these for? I'm trying to, when you buy your airplane, the garage gym jet, you can pull it out with the airplane. <laughs> this is the only requirement is Sam has to do this by himself, so. You got to drop it on his back by itself? Hey, I wasn't aware of that That's not <laughs> All right, do we want to start? I'll help as long as Cooper helps. No. <laughs> <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> What I haven't told him is that the bet really isn't just a steak dinner, it's also his entire employment. <laughs> Gosh, please don't fire me. Plot twist. Take twist. <laughs> I just caught him in a moment of like contemplation. <laughs> this may not work. Part of me wants this to work, but there's honestly another part of me that hopes it doesn't. It's like the devil and the angel side, you know, like this know. is the angel. <laughs> Coop, you're on Sam's team. Go Sam, he's gonna do it. This side, I hope Sam dies. <laughs> At this moment, how confident are you still? Because before it was 100%. But before you I just look like you're wavering a little bit. I would say I'm running at 70%. <laughs> oh my gosh, folks. <laughs> I'm here for moral support. <laughs> into this once this flexes because there's no support okay. game. Okay. But other than that, I'm pretty confident. In my defense, I did mention earlier that we may have to get the grinder and cut these off a little bit. That's what team are you on right now? Team Sam or Team Coop? Nobody's on freaking the Team Sam. <laughs> there's not even a team. Team Sam. All right, 
I'm gonna give the uh, tow company a quick call. Hey, this is uh, Sam. I was calling to see if you guys would be available for a tow around uh, 5.30 this evening. Should be, yeah. Okay, very good. I called and talked to you a couple weeks ago. We got a large piece of fitness equipment that we're needing uh, towed out. I will go ahead and get that put in here and get you on the schedule for 5.30. All right, awesome. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Bye. This tow truck driver's not even going to know what's going to happen whenever he gets here. This poor guy. Man, this is, you know, this is a big one because I really want to prove Coop wrong on this one. You know, I think he legitimately believes that there is no way we're going to just lay this rack down and tow it out. Uh, he, you know, conveniently took vacation to, to uh, Florida uh, during moving week. So if we can get just a few strong guys in, we lay it down gently, rip it up on the tow truck, we're going to be good to go. I'm honestly so scared, though. <laughs> I think the first thing we need to do, we need to find some bricks and brick this thing up before we try to drop it. Thank you, neighbor. All right, so in theory, this will roll over the front of that. Somewhat hold it in place. All right, you guys ready? We're going to know. Hey, we should go back. Uh-oh, Sam. Oh, no. We're doing this. All right, so we want to wait for tow truck guy to get here, see if he's got any ideas, and then do man and machine combined. I'm ready. Do you think it'd be possible to hook your winch to it and us lay it down with your winch connected to it, just to have, like, the cable, like, slowly tighten as we're yeah. laying it up? Yeah. Are you work? It should. Cool. One or two things will happen. Either it won't work or it will work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll shoot for the... It'll work, though, hopefully. So. <laughs> This is it. Oh. Good job, guys. What's up, Kim? So proud of himself. Thanks, Coop. Yeah, no problem, Sam.